All right, people, Catfish Dave here. To start out with, uh, everybody's heard of getting stung by a catfish. Well, I've been stung. I've been stung many times by wasps and bees and stuff like that. I even got stung by a uh, jellyfish uh, down in Florida. That jellyfish caught me from my feet, up my legs, all the way up my side, up to the neck. Uh, I was swimming in a beach full of jellyfish that were floating everywhere, and that's what I got. Now, I come out of that water, and don't get me wrong, that was pretty intense. That was way more intense than a bee sting or a wasp. One of the worst uh, pains I ever felt was I was about 16 years old, and it was nighttime, and I was walking down this dirt road. Well, a uh, neighbor kid he was a big kid about 240 pounds was on a honda three-wheeler going down this road with no lights on wide open and i could hear him coming and he kept getting closer and closer and i said surely he ain't gonna hit me and about that time he hit me he went flying 100 yards one way the three-wheeler went flying 100 yards another way and i was just laid out on the road it was winter time, it was cold, and I remember that's the first time somebody said, uh, I think he's going into shock. I didn't know what shock was. And that's where you're getting nausea and just getting weak, and from the intense level of injury, maybe not concentrating too well, but either way, uh, it broke the largest bone in my leg. The handlebars and everything caught me up the midsection I mean you know I, I was I had a lot of weight hit me really fast really hard but either way uh, it for sure broke my leg and it was very painful another time I was hurt real bad we was uh, tearing off a roof and uh, we're gonna put new shingles on it and there was a rotten piece of plywood at the very edge of the roof and we told the homeowner about this rotten piece of plywood we said, this wood here is rotten. Do you want us to fix it? He said, nah, just lay the felt over it. We said, okay. So we rolled some felt over that. We went to lunch. While we were at lunch, this guy picked the felt up, took a saw, cut a hole out of that rotten spot, laid the felt back down. Never told nobody. I got back from lunch, climbed up the ladder, was walking on the edge of the roof to finish nailing it down, and I stepped in that hole. I went over the side of that roof, face first, onto a concrete driveway. I tried to stop myself with my hands, and uh, that didn't do much, and I remember a really hard hit. I was rolling around in severe pain, uh, I was blinded in one eye at the time. My lungs started filling up with fluid. I don't know what that fluid was. I never went to the doctor over this. But I was gurgling pretty heavily as I would breathe. And uh, I couldn't do much the rest of the day. So I just chilled out. It was probably a couple hours later. My sight in one eye started coming back in like flashes. And then it eventually it was restored. As far as the total impact of that fall, I don't know that I had anything broken and out of place. But I used to be a really strong guy at that age. And for a long time after that, just to pick up a gallon of milk felt heavy. It's like it just zapped the strength out of me. It was a hard hit. I was in a lot of pain. A lot of y'all have seen my video where... I had a striped bass on, I was going to take the hook out of his mouth, and he buried a large treble hook in my thumb. People say, well, you got to push it through, and then cut it off. You couldn't push it through because it was right down the center, and it was sticking into the bone. As a matter of fact, two months after the hole had healed up, you could touch that bone, and the bone itself was still tender. I had that fish stuck to me for about 20 minutes, 
uh, it was pretty intense mentally, and yes, it did hurt, but it was uh, painful, but a bearable pain. On this day here, I probably should have stayed at the house. I went to go fishing. The day started off immediately bad. I got down the interstate pulling my boat and realized I'd left my cell phone. Well, my cell phone's how I run my camera. So I go back to the house to get my phone. By the time I get my phone, I'm now stuck in severe traffic. It was bad. It was so bad, uh, it took me a couple hours to get where I was fishing. I finally ended up getting off the interstate, trying to drive through Knoxville and said, I'll, I'll go down some other side roads. Traffic was bad there too. It, it was just a real crazy morning, stuff not going right. I got out to the lake and the wind was really bad. Another guy pulled up beside me and says, you going to take your boat out in that? I said, yeah. He says, I thought about it, but I ain't going out in that. I said, well, I'm going fishing. I put my boat in the water. bad luck occurred. I took quite a bit of time setting a course for my trolling motor to drag this secondary channel. When I finally got to going, dragging baits, my boat was jumping up and down so bad the trolling motor prop was coming out of the water and it was so I wasn't staying on course. When I went up to fix that problem, uh, it somehow erased the course that I had set and I ended up getting blown backwards. Had a lot of tangled lines this day. Pretty frustrated at this point. I said, okay, I'm going to go into the back of this cove back here. I said, the wind will still be bad back there, but it won't be near as bad out here on the main river. So I went to the back cove. Everything started out pretty good. Uh, it wasn't no time I'd hook the first fish.
This fish right here is where everything went wrong and made my day a whole lot worse than it already was. This fish slips out of my hand. Now I've got kind of cat-like reflexes. And I go to grab the thing so it doesn't hit the ground or whatever hard and doesn't hit the bottom of the boat hard. And I didn't grab it quite quick enough. As a matter of fact, I grabbed it about the time it hit this cooler. My hand went right over the top of it very quickly trying to catch it and the top fin of that fish went kind of at an angle through the center of my palm here back into these bones over here and it all happened within a half a second I looked down at my hand and it looked like somebody had pulled a 16 penny nail out of my hand. There was this big hole, but yet it wasn't bleeding. The hole had this white stuff all around it and I'm thinking to myself, well, that can't be infection because I just got stuck. And I realized that was the slime coating off that fish's fin. As it went into my hand, it cleaned that slime coating off and left it at the top of the hole. I looked at the hole and it wasn't bleeding at all. Just this big hole was not bleeding. And the pain started to set in. I took my fingers as hard as I could and I kept squeezing it and squeezing it. I wanted it to bleed because I know those catfish have a lot of bacteria on their fins. So I'm trying to get this thing to bleed out some. For the next couple hours, I'm going to experience Probably the worst pain in my life. It was uh, it was it was pretty much unbearable, and I was a couple miles from the boat ramp, and there wasn't nothing I could do but sit there and ride it out. I stepped on a 16 penny nail before doing construction, had it go straight up through my foot, big 16 penny nail, and it hurt when it first went in, but it wasn't near as intense as that catfish fin getting buried deep into my hand. As the minutes went on, this pain got worse and worse and worse.
felt like my knuckles were just locking up. Like they were just, I don't know, I, I could not move my fingers. The whole hand was just radiating with pain. Had another spot on my wrist up here that was radiating with pain. I had a spot up here that for some reason was radiating with pain. And I don't know if I had hit a nerve, but it was bad. I mean, it, it was bad. It was like getting run over by that three-wheeler. It was like falling face first onto that concrete driveway, only at a, in a smaller area. But it was so intense, I was actually getting symptoms of shock. The pain was unbearable. It was cold out this day, about 40 degrees with the wind blowing, and I started feeling sweaty. So I took my jacket off. I sat there in that seat getting nauseated from the pain and I realized because I knew what shock was that I was going into shock. Now I've never passed out from shock but I had got up and moved around the boat a couple times to try to keep my composure and my legs were very wobbly. I was not doing that great at all. I went back and sat in that seat and I just tried to talk myself through it, you know. I'm like, the pain's going to be over with sometime. It's going to be over with sometime. All you got to do is just ride it out, you know. I kept telling myself, this ain't going to kill you. It just hurts. Just ride it out, ride it out. Kept talking to myself. But it didn't just hurt. It, it, was, it was intense, intense pain. It was, uh, it was, it was four or five times worse than that jellyfish sting that I got at the beach. Finally ended up hooking a fish and I reeled that fish in. I couldn't hardly bend my hand. The pain in my hand was still intense. And I did not even want to deal with taking this fish out of the water. I was in too much pain, so I set it in the rod holder. And then I actually shut the camera off for a while, just trying to keep my composure. After a while, Turn the camera back on.
said, you know what, I'm out here. I said, I'm not going to go to the hospital over it unless I get an infection. I might as well finish up this video so I continue to fish. I'm in pain. I got stuck down to the bone right about there. I can't hardly close my hand. I got a hole in my hand!
catfish doesn't actually sting you. For one, it hit bone. For two, that was a very big hole. But what makes it so intense, besides the fact it may have hit a nerve, and that's what was causing this up here, and the pain in my joints, and the pain right here, is your body's reaction to the bacteria that's on that fish. It's way worse than any kind of wasp sting. For the next few fishing trips, I was pretty careful about how I handled them fish because that's something I never want to experience again. Hope it don't happen to y'all. Not that bad anyhow. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.